Looking Twisted. I'm your host, Debbie. It's Saturday, the May the 2nd, 2020. And if it could be May the 3rd, not sure. I've not got a diary with me. Anyway, it's the beginning of May. So, happy Beltane, everybody. Blessed Beltane to those who celebrate. And, well, let's get going then. This is a very special episode. This is Virtual Wonder Wool 2020. As many of you know, well, as everybody will know, everything's been cancelled, including Wonderwall, which is the largest um, fibre show in Wales, and it's fab, and it does knitting, crochet, spinning, weaving, dyeing, felting, plus other crafts I've probably not even heard about. And there's sheep, and alpacas, and goats, gorgeous goats and bunnies. But unfortunately this year, um, no. So, I instead spent two days on and off the computer, the laptop, which is not my favourite thing to do. Um, fabulous show. I have to say thanks very much to Chrissy and I think it's Andy for organising it. And I think they did a bloody good job. And, well, let's get into it, shall we? Oh, sorry. For those of you that haven't been on here before, it's um, a knitting, knitting, crochet, spinning and dyeing podcast. With a bit of other stuff stuck in about my chickens and my dogs my throat's a bit <coughs> sorry it's pollen today as well i have hay fever just with everything else i have hay fever but anyway so if you've not been before welcome um very pleased to see you but just to warn you that this can be a little bit of a sweary podcast at times possibly the odd thing might slip out so just to warn you in advance if it's not your thing please move on if not, if it, or if it is your thing, please stay. That's fine. Um, also, for those who have seen before and have come back again, that's great to see you. Um, and that's super. So, oh yes, like. Like the podcast, please. Um, subscribe. Would be fabulous. And also, I've started a Ravelry group. Uh, Ravelry, for those who don't know, is... <laughs> Yes, it's a rabbit hole. It's a rabbit hole for spinning, weaving, dyeing, whatever. Right? I'm going to move around a little bit. So, ooh, good is. Can you hear that? I'm squishing packets. I haven't opened. Some of these arrived two days ago. I've been astounded by the efficiency of Royal Mail at this time. Um, yep. Yeah. And one just came literally ten minutes ago by a... And it wasn't even expecting it by a courier. Anyway, let's get on, shall we? Right, so I'm just checking my notes if that's all right. Today is parcel opening day. Yay! Right, first one. From my very good friend, Frailing Fibres. don't know whether that's focusing or not. Frailing is in Yorkshire. Um... She's known as Frailing Fibres. Uh, I think she's got an Etsy shop, but she's nothing in it at the minute. She has a fantastic blog, which also has bits and pieces on for her. Um, worth looking at. Take a look, please, and buy from her. She's a fabulous diet. One of the best I know for fibre. Um, her stuff doesn't wash out. Doesn't go sludgy brown. The colours stay oh, gorgeous. All right, I'm a bit biased. I've known her for a long time. She taught me to spin on drop spindle. She enabled my drop spinning and has since enabled me onto the spinning wheel. But that's another subject. Yeah, I'm still a little bit struggling with that. But I have been drop spinning today. But I'll tell you about that in another podcast because that's something totally different. Anyway, game back. Fibre day. Fibre and goodies. How do I open this? Right. I'm beginning to think I should have pre-opened stuff, but hey, there you go. Um, right. Ha ha. Yep, should have pre-opened it. I'm going to take a risk and I'm pushing it down in the corner. Okay. Ha ha. Ooh. Ha ha. So, from Frailin, I ordered... <coughs> Excuse me. Oh yeah, I ordered yarn as well. Her yarn is gorgeous as well. This is one of my favourites. Favourite, favourite ones. I ordered another one. I've got to have another peacock. There we go. Oops, I pulled a bit of pink off that one. 
look at that gorgeousness this is pale pink no it's not it's pale grey Shetland and the colourway is Peacock as I'm sure you can see why um, she gave me one of these when I bought the wheel from her and it is bloody gorgeous so I'm really chuffed with that because now I can do a bit more spinning from it oh gorgeous 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 I'm not normally very very colourful but since I've learned to crochet gone back to my knitting knitting stayed quite sedate um, and gone into spinning oh god totally different look at this isn't this a beaut as they say this is oatmeal Pff, sorry fiber flying around oatmeal bfl which is blue first leicester if you don't know and silk oh god it feels incredible and this is away with the fairies i loved it it was on a number of bases but i i really really like this one um feels quite different to the shetland it's obviously it's a lot softer because of the silk in it so this will be interesting i had two gorgeous ones from her before um really dark and moody and they had silk in and they were gorgeous what else did i have Peacock. Uh, oh, I had more in my basket, but I restrained myself, I think, if I remember right. Oh, she was such a lovely card in. Hi, Deb. Thanks so much for buying from me at Virtual Wonder Room. See you this time next year, if not before. And it's got thumbs on it. Gorgeous. Thank you, Fraylin. That's really nice. She always adds a personal touch. I know we know each other, but she always does have a personal touch. And what's the other one? I've ticked off two on my list. I haven't ticked off three. Oh, oak leaf. Ah, oh, yes. It's coming out. And, oh, hang on. There's a bit of the bag there, I think. It's coming out a little bit, oh it's not too bad, yeah, it's not too bad because it's not bright colours, it's lovely, it's muted, oak leaf is on marine, now I want to say different thinking, I'm, I've started getting into really spinning now, God, I've got fluff everywhere, sorry, this is going to be, I'm going to keep fluffing here, um, yeah, different fibres, because um, everybody says oh merino, BFL's the best thing for spinners. I keep being told BFL, yep, BFL. Fine, but a little bit boring. I'd like to have a range. If I make a mistake, make a mistake. Like I did with the alpaca. Yes. The alpaca fluff. We'll come back to that another time. Anyway, this is Merino de Alls. Um, learned about a lot of these breeds when we did the um, spin last year, Brit spin. And there's the, um, there's another one, what's it called? Um, like they have the, the racing on the bikes, Tour de whatever. So it's it's Tour de Fleece. How could I forget that? Tour de Fleece. So you use, you have to use so many different breeds and that's really good. This feels really quite spongy. Come, oh yeah, difference in that with the silk, totally different feel, and you can see different look. You can see you've got the different. The silk is the lustrous, that really woo bit of colour. This is spongy, but in a good way. Oh, excuse me, fluff up my nose. And oh, I was gonna. Oh yes, I was gonna have two. Um, yarns, but in the end, I went for one because when Fraley said, Don't get carried away, excuse me, fluff everywhere, don't get carried away. She says, She says, There's another time, and she's right. So, oh god, you know, I'm not a pink, pink fan, 
I don't know, I had it in my head, it was a different colour. I had it in my head, there were purples in it. Still love it. Still gorgeous. Ooh, still gorgeous. And I do like the way she spins. Donny Gold Nep again. I've had Donny Gold twice now. I've got a lovely brown called. Oh, it's the river in the Hobbits. And I've forgotten. Anyway, I'll put it up. But um, <clears throat> listen, I love the way she spins it. Bloody hell, it's fine though. God, look at that. I mean, that's that's thin. You go, I admit. Whoop, keep doing it that way around. Bloody thin. But gorgeous, gorgeous. I even like the pink. I don't do pink. And there's little bits of it. Oh, now that's better. You got well, just the little bits of it through there. But anyway, it's absolutely gorgeous. As always, frailing stuff always is. Oh, I love the greens. She's, you've really got me into greens. Frailing, if you ever watch this, you've really got me into greens now. Peacock. I love it. And they're all 100 grams. And they spin really nicely. Let's put it that way. And this is very similar to the blue and the brown that I got before. One minute, I can get them for you. Pah. Oh, I've got fluff in my mouth again. I'm covered in fluff. I should not wear black when I do this. Um, right, so. As you can see. Oh, it's BFL and silk, yeah? BFL and silk. Solstice. And Hellebore, so it's Solstice, Hellebore, away with the fairies. Do you know, considering that's colourful, that actually goes quite well together. I like them. But it does show you how gorgeously lustrous they are. Right, so let's move in on. Right. Next on the list is the Threshing Barn, because they had um, an e-spinner. On offer now I know they've got it on offer the nano because the new one's coming out everybody's told me about the new one so <clears throat> okay um, it's not a big box and you see <laughs> they said it was smart the threshing balm in wreath okay um, they do lots of stuff. Craft workshop and home of spinning, weaving and dyeing. They do craft courses. It's all at www.threshingbarn.com. Okay. In Wreath, in the Dales. Oh, oh no, Richmond. Reef Dale Centre. It's actually at Richmond. Silver Street, Reef. Oh, it is in Reef. Yeah, sorry. I thought I was sure it was in Reef. I used to go to Reef many years ago, walking and whatever, and they've got three very nice pubs that are just in a row in the middle of the village. Um, but that's by and by. God, I've got to learn to drive, you know. If I learn to drive, I can just bugger off for the day. So if I'm in you know. Right then. So, the Nano. I hope it's all right because it was upside down. Oh! Oh, this is interesting. So instead of the free fibre, oh, that's nice. That's me and voice. Thank you for your order, Janet. Yeah, a little bit more impersonal, perhaps, but more professional. Anyway, ooh, they have a range of dyes, blends. That's why they're called bush blends, then, because they're Australian. This one is high. Excuse me, I can't see with them on. Made in Tasmania by Gaywood Dyes. Gaywood Dyes, yes. High quality, quick and easy to use dyes for wool, mohair, silk, cashmere, fur, nylon and feathers. So that just about covers everything then. This is Wattle. 30 minutes from start to finish. Oh, that's brilliant. Sufficient for 600 gram of fibre to medium shade. And it's 80 gram of dry weight in the dye. Look, there you go, wattle. That's a new one. Oh, and on the back is the directions. Oh, no, I think when I do this, we'll do a video with it as well. 
Oh, brilliant. So it tells you what you should do. That's frill. I quite like that. 600 gram of fibre. That's really good. Oh, God, there's fluff everywhere. And, because we were discussing and I said, oh, I do like browns. I've got this thing for browns nowadays. Never used to have. And this is tan bark. That's tan bark. But I have a nice brown. It's got some flecks of different colours in there. Oh, it looks a bit rock. I think that's ground rock. Or well, maybe not. Anyway, that looks interesting. Wattle and tan bark. And it gives me a chance to try them out without um, paying for them. I suppose but I've already paid for them for this. So it brought us a long time. Anyway, let's. See the nano. That's what you're all shouting at the screen now, isn't it? Let me see the nano. Oh, purple. It was purple and grey. I was torn because I do like grey. Look at that purple. <laughs> right, so it's one, two. Oh, and teal. These are the, your bobbin. Oh, your bobbin ends. There are your bobbin ends. There you bobby in. So there's a cable for some. I'm sure people would know where it was, but I don't know offhand what it's called. Oh, that's your bobbins, and that's the cord. Show you. In relation to my hands, right? That's how big the bobbins are. So it is tiny. Yep, but that's fine. Oh. I don't know what that is, unless that's the adapter, because it's from the US. Yep, it's the adapter plug, isn't it? Yep. Um, I think if I remember right, they started originally with a Kickstarter. Um, and I think people in the Kickstarter, oh, no, that's the adapter. Got the, um, got it cheaper or something, or you, you know, whatever, grief. Oh my giddy aunt. I thought it was six. Two, four, six, eight. Hang on. I think she's sent. Oh, that's nice. She's sent an extra bobbin. Um, I'm confused. There's two in there. Three, four, five, six. No, seven. Seven? Seven? Seven, as Len would say. Um, right, okie dokie. Oh, it's tiny. Look at this little wee thing. It's not quite as big as my hand. Oh, wow. Oh, it's like a little toy. <laughs> it's like a little toy, look. You can just play with it. Um, obviously, I think this is... Could all be um, printed. Oh, that's your motor. And apparently, this is why it's the old one. The new one has um, a, a bigger motor. So, oh, it's another drive band. Oh, your drive band's on there already. That's good. It's the Electric Eel Wheel Nano from DreamingRobots.com. Okay, there you go. Two colours. Grey, that gorgeous purple. And... Um, Oh, that's good. There's a card with all the twists on and the degree of twists because this, this being electric works a little bit differently. And oh, that is superb. A wraps per inch card. I mean, I will eventually buy a nice posy wooden one, but that's brilliant. Uh, there are no instructions though. Is a bit worried, but hey, you know. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Yes, and at least I don't have to treadle because I do have a, a treadling and excuse me, a treadling and um, coordination problems sometimes. But hey, I'll get there. Right, so that's the threshing band done. Oh, this is going to be good. Moffy and the squid. Um, oh God, what's the name now? I keep thinking G Geraldine, but I'm sure it's not right. Moffat and the squid. Those gorgeous yarns on the planet. 
um, I really have to hold myself back uh, because as normal she was doing um, a giveaway which I don't think I've won feeling this because she's given away um, a set of mini skins uh, but she was giving away that's it I bought five and that very one oh, oh, this. this is really odd for me I know yellows I don't do yellow normally but so bloody gorgeous look at them and I love the names I love the names so what did we get we got oh five mini skins I have neglected to put the names on but if you spent twenty pounds um, on on actual yarn, twenty pounds, you got a free mini skin on the Saturday and the Sunday, and she did a different one for the Sunday. So, bro, this is fresh berry ice cream, seventy five percent. So, uh, 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 start again. Seventy five merino, twenty five nylon, super wash treated. It's a twenty gram mini skin. Use on two to three millimeter needles. I'm not sure what that is in American. Sorry, um, I need to have a chart where I can tell you that. Anyway, fresh berry ice cream. God, that's gorgeous. I mean, I'm not in pinks. I mean, it's not as bright as it's on the screen there. Lovely and the squid. Fantastic little. I love her little. Artwork. There we go. So that's the freebie. Well, that's worth over a fiver. So it's worth having for a start. So five yellows. Um, I wanted to get something that appealed to me. Excuse me. That was different. Oh, they look very similar. That's not good. Moffy and the Squid, Moffy and the Squid dot com. Absolutely wonderful yarns, gorgeous yarns. Um, her imagination is incredible. I'm saying her because I can't remember her bloody name, and I keep thinking it's Geraldine or something like that. Anyway, Jennifer. Anyway. Oh my god, and you're getting free stitch markers as well. All right, so it might not be the most incredible stitch marker in the world. I love it, that's lovely, isn't it? I mean, it's a lovely little extra, and on two of them. So we've got orange, oh, it goes first, yeah. Painted ghost crab, painted ghost, oh god, yes. And the thing is, she matches them up with a little picture and look at that beauty again it's going very very orange it's quite dark so it's more of a burnt orange more of a burnt orange than it shows and then we've got orange daisy orange daisy and then we've got Horta and the pig rugs and I've forgotten what this is from they're all the same 75 25 super was treated 84 meters I think it said it's a bit Harry Potter that one um yeah they're all 84 meters because it's the same yarn base and this is oh, mother hen had to get this with having chickens had to get mother hen that's quite true and last but not least is squeaking silk moth. I resisted by, yeah, I resisted the um, beautiful cock. Maybe another time. Anyway, so squeaking silk moth, yellows and blacks, and there's a quick look, oh, brownie blacks. So they're rather gorgeous. Anyway, so. Can be mini skins. Don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I have absolutely no clue at the minute, but I have got some yellows. Anyway, we'll see. And the berry ice cream. Right. Okay, so that's Muffy done. 
I think what we'll do now is we'll stop the video here I'll get organized and we'll do part two and then there will be a part three so this although I've neglected to say it is part one okay right again if you like what you're seeing please like the video subscribe subscribe to the channel and join the rev group okay and then i'll see you over in part two